Hi everybody and welcome back. We are 1500 people now on this channel and that is just insane. I had never thought it would grow that fast. So to all the new people that are here, this is my 740T5 engine swap project. This is a 1990 Volvo 740 GL with a B230F completely stock. It has no extras at all. It's just a basic, basic Volvo. And what we're going to be doing is putting a T5 engine, that's the five cylinder engine, from a V70 into this instead. It's quite a popular swap. And this is what we're going to be doing from now on over a foreseeable future. Uh, this project is going to take up basically 80% of this channel right now. There might be some tips and tricks videos along the way, but this is what we're going to be focusing on. So if you want to follow this project, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And with all that said, let's get started because we have a lot of things to do today. We got to pull the engine, transmission, drive shaft. We also got to disassemble the bits and some bits in the front end here to get everything out in one big package. Oh yeah, and I'm also trying a new thing here with cameras and stuff. So, uh... It's really hard to know where this GoPro is pointing, but I got it in super wide mode, so hopefully it will be covered. We can undo the hose clamp here. Hopefully, if it's not rusted, everything seems very rusted on this car. It's a good and a bad thing. I think it's a sign that not a lot of people have been working on it, which is good. But it also means that everything is stuck. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, it's, it seems like that either goes one way or the other. Either you get all the water or you don't get any water in the bucket. So uh, we lucked out this time. All right, that hose is off. Let's get this hose. Flow hose or whatever that's called. You know, making YouTube videos like this is a lot different from when you're working on cars, usually, because you gotta think about everything. Like, you gotta think about the light, the sound, what happens now, what happens next. So there is constantly something on your mind. Whoa, holy crap. I can't believe I forgot that. That's actually quite serious that I forgot that. Always start with removing your battery, obviously. You don't want that connected when you're cutting wires and removing stuff. This out. Oh, this looks pretty good. These are usually pretty rotten due to the battery acid, but this one looks pretty good. So moving along quickly here, we're gonna remove the uh, intake hose here just because it's kind of in the way. Put that over here. We have the canister. We might need that. I'm not really sure, but we'll keep it. Okay, so we have that off. I'm gonna leave the fuel pipes for last because I don't want, you know, fuel exhaust everywhere. Let's continue on with these hoses. These are to the heating core. Oh. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Okay, so we have the hose to the brake booster. I don't have one of those the correct tool for this. Ah, just take the whole plug out. There we go. When we're here with the clamp, I guess we'll take the throttle wire. Put that back. There we go. The servo line. So if we just take it off here, it should be fine, I guess.
It looks nice and clean, nice and red. This car probably has been serviced okay. 17. Oh man, that thing is on there. Oh yes, uh, awesome. go look at that came out nice anyway all right so next up I'm thinking uh, wires let's start with uh, this one the main wiring loom as I like to call it let's get this off we're not gonna be using this anymore all right so then we move over here cut this off and we have the connectors right here that go into the car. We have the lambda right here, or the oxygen sensor. Let's just get these off. Oh. If you have weird engine trouble, like this is a good place to look. Look right here. It's kind of oxidized. I don't know what that goes to, but it's a good place to start. Okay, and then we have the ground wires for the, uh, for the engine. And then we have the uh, connector here for the crank sensor. Let me get that off. There we go. Okay, what's left? We have fuel, return line, clutch. Clutch wire is all bent. We're actually going to cut that wire, that hose, because we're not going to use it. We have a new one, wherever it is, somewhere around here. Yeah, right there. I don't really know what this goes to. There. Like so. All right, I think that's it for the engine bay. Now we're going to move on. We're actually going to move inside the car and get the uh, gear knob off and uh, then we're going to get under the car, get the transmission loose, drive shaft, and so on. So yeah, let's keep going. Alright, so we're inside the car now, getting ready to drop the gearbox and the drive shaft. But before we do that, I want to get this shifter out of the way. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how to disassemble this. So we're going to get uh, the flat one out. I'm going to start with getting this little compartment here. Take that off. Two Phillips head screws. So we undo those like that. And then we take these two as well. Oh no. Now you're gonna reach for it and it falls into oblivion. Yeah, it's completely gone now. It Never liked it anyway. So we're back. Oh, shit. that's not supposed to happen. There is supposed to be a clips right here that holds this in place, but that's obviously been removed at some point. Just pull the gear level like that. And we disconnect the heated seats. Maybe that is an option. I don't know. It's probably the only option on this car in that case. Have the light. We don't really need to remove it, you can just put it right there for now. We move on to this, get this uh, leather thing off. There we go, it's just a simple button. Undo the button, pull it off. And then we're gonna reach the shifter here. And it is held in place by four 10 millimeter screws. So we're gonna get those. Get that off, pull this up, push that out of there, like so. Ugh. All right. Just wanna get this ring out. Yeah, that's good. We can just pop this off. 
we need to uh, remove the shifter from the linkage below. So uh, let's head under the car. We're gonna get this screw out right here. This is the only thing holding the shifter on. So you remove this, it's a hex bit, and then you remove this sprint right here. So we're gonna do that right now. Probably a number four. Okay, so you just insert it like that. Take it out. And then you just slide this out. Like such. Put it in like so. Screw this back. We're not gonna be using this, but I mean, it's unnecessary to just lose things. So now this is free. Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to take care of under here by the gearbox, and that is the reverse light. It can be quite stubborn, but this one came out quite nicely, actually. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so next thing is the exhaust. Maybe some ear protection, eye protection, and so on. I have a lot of stuff on my head now. Ugh. Oh, simple as that. These are both 19 millimeters, by the way. Could be good to know before you dive under here. Off in the front, moving to the back. All right, point number two with the drive shaft uh, is getting there's a bearing right here that keeps the uh, drive shaft in check. So we're gonna unbolt the bearing and then we're gonna pull the whole drive shaft backwards and get it off the car because it rides on a pin up front. So you can't pull it downwards. You gotta pull it back. Oh, I just have the biggest muscle cramp in my arm right now. So I gotta wait a little bit. I don't wanna lie here with the drive shaft on my body with the cramp in my arm. That's just a little bit too much. See if I can. See? It kind of rides on a pin. It's very important not to split this. It's easily. Oh. Oh. Well, that's the drive shaft gone. Awesome. Now we can take the gearbox and engine out. Woo! Let's do it. More little screws. Now we can officially remove the engine. Okay, so let's pull this engine out. Uh, I have unbolted the engine mounts. It's just two little bolts. Gotten those out of here. Uh, everything else is done. Probably missed a few things, but yeah, we're gonna find out very soon. Oh yeah, we gotta get the fuel lines. It's holding on to the, uh, the engine mount pretty good. There we go. All right, that is the end for the B230F in this car. And it's also the end to this episode. If you liked it, please press the like button. And if you want to follow this project along, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. What a good, hey.